friends welcome back to my channel and happy 4th of July weekend for those of you who are in the United States I hope you guys are having a great one and you're staying safe and doing all the fun things I'll tell you guys in just a little bit what I have planned for the weekend but first I wanted to tell y'all what to expect in today's video this one is jam-packed with all kinds of cleaning motivation I'm gonna be tackling every single area of this house I had so much to get done if you missed last week's video I did tell you guys that I broke my pinky toe and it was so painful I was out of commission for quite a few days I really could not put much pressure on it so the house kind of went to the wayside and I had a lot of catching up to do this clip right here is actually before I broke my pinky toe this underbed store storage area broke all of a sudden we knew it was hanging on by a thread because whenever we moved the movers messed this up my husband tried to rig it as best as possible but it fell apart we want to try to put it back together again so in the meantime I decided you know what it's time for us to go through our toys anyway so I wanted to prop up the camera as we just decluttered their toys went through them saw what they didn't want anymore I definitely recommend doing this at least once every six months because things really do accumulate really fast so it's nice to go through there and just see what's broken and what hasn't been touched in forever and then I did buy a little basket off of Amazon to put all of the toys that wouldn't fit into the smaller toy box into an extra bin until my husband fixes the underbed area so this is where the video is gonna start and then we're gonna pick back up about a week after this and start tackling my whole house because it was so filthy my foot was finally well enough for me to get around I did order a little boot off of Amazon which has been game changing for me because trying to walk around barefooted I was so terrified my dog or the kids were gonna step on my toe so having that boot just makes me feel so much more confident and walking around Going through your kids toys is a great way for them to see what they have what they forgot that they had and then they often will start playing with it again that's exactly what happened as we were going through the toys the kids were like oh my gosh I forgot about this and so they wanted to play with everything and then after I got done decluttering they were so excited they played together with all the toys that they had forgotten about comment down below what y'all have planned for this weekend we are going to be actually hanging out with my best friend which you guys might know who she is her name is Becca she also has a cleaning channel happily ever Becca and we finally live within a few hours of each other well a little bit more than a few it's about a six hour drive but it is way closer than whenever I lived in Texas so we plan on taking full advantage of that and she decided to come make a trip up here for the weekend because her kids are going to be with their dad so she had a little free time and I am so excited to hang out with her I went down there a few months ago when she had surgery and that was the last time I saw her so now this time is going to be a more fun trip together and I am so excited for it. Is 
there a sickness going around your area? I'd love to hear about it because you guys, not only did I break my pinky toe, but at the same time, my youngest, Ethan, ended up catching a cold or what I think is a cold. He started running a fever. He was complaining he had a headache and just a lot of coughing. So he was sick for almost a week and then we thought no one else was gonna catch it. And then unfortunately, my second youngest, my other son, he ended up catching it too. So we've kind of been cooped up in our house the last couple weeks. So the kids are super excited to get out, do something fun. We're going to my sister's for the actual 4th of July. We're doing fireworks and a barbecue there. Becca's gonna meet us there. And then hopefully over the weekend, I'll be able to head up to the beach with Becca and the kids just do something out of the house. I feel like my foot is pretty good walking on it. I still can't wear flip-flops because it hurts when I bend my toe, but I can get around now. So I'm hoping we can go do some fun stuff and finally get the kids out of the house. Y'all know I absolutely love my house to smell good. So basically every single day or every other day I come in and change my wax melt. Scentsy is my go-to wax bars because they just smell so strong. I do buy some from Walmart too because they're just more, more affordable, but I must say Scentsy lasts so much longer and the smell is stronger. So definitely recommend if you guys haven't tried them before, they have some really good scents. Some days we love doing deep cleaning and some days we just have to do surface cleaning and that's kind of what I was planning on doing this day. I just needed to hit all of the surfaces. So my main focus was wiping things down, picking up toys, vacuuming because the dog hair was so bad. You guys, I have put off vacuuming for a while. So all of our socks were just covered in animal hair. So we're gonna be doing lots of vacuuming. This back door had been bothering me for a hot minute. With it just opening and closing all the time, the dirt really builds up and like the oil, the grease, whatever it is that gets stuck over here. So I went in with my steamer, I sprayed it and wiped it down. It isn't perfect, but oh my gosh, you guys, it makes such a big difference when you clean this little crack right here. So if you have a sliding back door, Definitely recommend taking the extra time to wipe out the slider at the bottom because it just looks a million times better when it's clean.
on top of me slacking with my everyday cleaning, we've also been having a fly problem. So my husband ended up grilling some seafood um, sometime recently and we threw the peels into the garbage and sure enough, we had gotten maggots and flies and they were finding their way into our house and it was becoming a huge problem. The kids were just walking around with fly swatters. My dog and my cat were chasing flies all day long. It was so gross. So I finally went online and ordered these, I believe they're called like big bags or something. I don't know. I'll try to link it in my description below, but they are worth every single penny. If you guys are having a fly problem inside or outside, I highly recommend these bags. You just fill it halfway up with some water. It has this like pouch that dissolves and it has a special top. So when the flies get in, they can't get out. And ever since we hung that up outside, we have had a huge decrease in our fly problem. And I am so thankful because they were driving me insane. You guys know I am a lover of curbside pickups and deliveries. They are life. They are the way that I save time. And I love Sam's Club because if you have a membership, you can get things delivered straight to your door for free. So that's what I was doing. Well, not delivered. I guess you call it shipped. Um, I get it shipped to my door. Obviously you can't do cold stuff, but for like the kids snacks when I need a few things here and there, I love ordering from Sam's Club. They come right to my door. So that's what I had gotten in this day I got a package so we're gonna go ahead and add the kids snacks into the drawer because it was looking really bare in here I had stuck this bag over on the floor. The kids went over to my sister's for a sleepover. It was her son's birthday and all he wanted was a sleepover with his cousins. So it was really sweet. I brought them over there. We had a little party and then they stayed the night and I picked them up the next morning and I just kind of threw their bag on the floor. So it was time for me to go through everything and put it away, get it up off of the floor.
gifted the little centerpiece thing on my table and I'm just not sure if I really love it right here. I just kind of put it there because I didn't know what to do with it, but I've been wanting to find something to go on this table, even if it's just a runner or a new centerpiece. I want to find something because I feel like it's just missing something in here. I love the table and the rug and I feel like a centerpiece would just make this area really come together and pop. Because I knew I had so much cleaning to get done this day, the first thing I did was get a load of laundry going. I highly recommend doing this. Even if you don't have much planned that day, I always suggest starting at least one load first thing in the morning. That way you can tackle it before the end of the day and you don't get super behind. Unfortunately, I was very behind. So we're gonna be doing quite a few loads of laundry today. I know I'm super behind on the Outlander show, but me and my husband recently started it probably about two months ago. We are now on season three and we are so in love with this series. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend. If you love like shows that are based back in the day and like historical times, King, King and Queen era, it is so good and it's about just a love that never dies oh my gosh it's seriously so good i don't want to spoil it but it just got to a really good part in the show and i just love it i love the meaning behind it that like you know your love never dies so it's a really good one if you haven't checked it out yet it is on netflix have some laundry folded we're gonna head upstairs start putting this away that way it doesn't start piling up that is my bad trait I always fold the clothes and just leave it sitting on the couch or the counter and then it piles up so big and then I get super overwhelmed and don't want to pick it up let me know I'm not alone in that but I just hate putting away clothes it's honestly the worst part about doing laundry for me Quick update for you guys in case you don't follow me on Instagram. I have mentioned it in my last video that I recently signed up to be a consultant with Arbonne and that I was really close to hitting my promotion. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who placed an order through me. It seriously means so much. I'm so excited for you guys to get your products. I know you will fall in love, but I am so... all 
all the time, all the time. And my heart's been fast when it's looking like that, or his smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs, so I can't get enough. Think about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine. I wanted to update you guys. For those of you who might not follow me on Instagram and you're curious, I had mentioned in my previous video that I recently signed up to be a consultant with Arbon, and I was so close to hitting my promotion. And I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of y'all who who placed an order through me, it seriously means the world and I cannot wait to hear what you think about the products. And for those of you who were wondering like why I decided to sign up for Arbon, why I want to promote this, honestly it's because I saw a way that I could earn an income for my family and share something that I absolutely love. I tried the products, I fell in love, I felt the difference and I was so excited to share it with others where I was like, why wouldn't I want to make this my business and make some extra money for my family? You guys know as a YouTuber, part of our job is to promote different brands and that's where we make the bulk of our money. And usually it's a bunch of different brands. And of course it's always things that I'd like, but in my mind, I was like, I would much rather promote something that I care so passionately about, I absolutely love, can make a difference in people's lives, their quality of their life, the health of their lives. So that's why I decided to do Arbon. I love it. I want to share it with other people and help change people's lives for the better with a focus on products that are truly about your health, your well-being, and taking out all of those bad chemicals. Now that I have my boys bedroom semi cleaned up, I have their bedding going. I wanted to mop in here because it had been a while. My kids love the Scentsy room spray, but whenever they spray it, the floor gets really greasy and slippery. So I needed to get in here and just mop it really well. So no one slipped and fell. All the way that I feel, you yeah, know that it's real. Cause I can get him out of my head. I don't care what we do, everything's really new. Even if we stay in bed, I heart to say, yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him, na, 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 na. I heart to say, yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my new comforter. I finally bit the bullet and I bought a new comforter set. I've been wanting a like copper colored bedding for quite some time. And this new rug, I got both of them off a of TikTok shop. So I'll link where I got the comforter and the rug. They're really affordable and I love it. I think it looks so good. I love the pop of color and it just brightened up this room. Laundry, laundry, laundry. I swear, as soon as I feel like I'm catching up, I turn around and find another pile somewhere else. Go 
go ahead, get some more laundry done. I did want to tell you guys though, I am using a new scent bead. It is by Downy and it is a tropical, I believe it's called like coconut in something paradise. It smells so good. It seriously smells like a pina colada or something. It smells so good. It is definitely Adrienne's favorite. She's like, you need to buy this every time. And I do really love this scent, but I still must admit, I think the Downy Ocean Mist scent is still by far my favorite one. I can be a I think it might be about that time that I have to replace all of my dish towels. They have been smelling a little stinky even after washing them and trying to just like do a towel only cycle. The stink is still in them. So I think it's just about that time. I need to start looking for some new ones. I've actually been thinking about possibly finding some where I can have them all match just to make them a little bit more aesthetic because I got all kinds of different colors going on. This was truly an entire full day of cleaning with me because now we have picked back up after dinner and I needed to put away the food that was left over, put it in the fridge, and then I'm actually gonna be picking up the dishes for my son because like I said, he was sick at this time. So obviously I wasn't gonna make him put away the dishes when he's just feeling awful. So I'm gonna pick up the dishes for him and then I'll have my daughter load the dishwasher back up. We are coming to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually about to get off here and go start cleaning my house because Becca's gonna be here later today and I'm so excited. And of course, I have to make sure my house is spotless. Even though I know she doesn't care, I'm definitely that person that cannot have people come over and my house be messy. So I'm gonna go get busy on that. If you guys enjoyed it, I hope you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.